Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. I know it's been a, a while, but if you can believe it, this gigantic animal behind me is our sweet little Aura. What are you now, like a year and a half? I don't know. I can't believe it. Part of, you know, I've slowed down on doing these sorts of videos. I feel like I've covered a lot of topics um, from start to finish, especially through Aura's puppyhood. But, you know, I want to keep updating as things come up. And, and uh, very recently, Aura's kind of had a behavioral change. And uh, I, know, I know why she's gone through her first heat cycle. And, you know, it's a bit of a controversy there. A lot of people say, uh, some veterinarians say you should always spay or neuter. Sorry spay <laughs> before the first heat cycle. Um, but a lot of borzoi breeders, ours included, uh, believe that there is some benefits to letting your dog go through the first heat cycle um, in regards to growth. So they, they believe that the dog will actually grow up to be its full size and, and uh, its full maturity, at least emotionally. And what I can tell you is Aura's personality, at least going through this, has changed just absolutely dramatically. She was my rambunctious, a little hard to pin down wild child when we first got her. And now I feel like she has mellowed out. She has become more, I would say, intelligent and a more aware of herself and her surroundings. And I know this comes with the influx of hormones that comes through this, through, through this, through the heat cycle. Um, so I, I'm throwing this out there as an opinion for people, because I know that this is a, a fairly controversial subject about whether or not to get your dog spay before or after the first heat cycle. Um, and also just, just in full disclosure, our breeders, the people we got Aura from part of the contract we signed with them when we got her was that we would let her go through the first cycle. And, um, you know, I didn't think it was going to be uh, that much of a debate, but yeah, that's that. You know, I always wanted to be as open about this channel as possible. So let's talk a little bit about what her first heat cycle was like. Now, I'm not going to go into the bloody details, <laughs> pun, pun intended, but you can imagine, you know, borzois are a large animal. This is something that you will have to deal with. Luckily, Aura had these cute little diapers uh, that we got her that she would wear. And I'll throw a picture up here and I'll show you the diapers. And she kept them on pretty well. It was actually pretty painless. You know, 10 days from start to finish when she was um, had her estrus, I think is the word. And then it cleared up. And, you know, you also have to be aware, especially, <laughs> you don't realize this, that the, the heat cycle is a long cycle. She can still get pregnant even after she's not, actually more so after she's not through the initial um, estrus phase. And then it takes, you know, four or so weeks after for it to, um, everything to kind of return <laughs> to normal. So you're not, you're not worried about taking her to the dog park and having uh, little baby borzois that you didn't necessarily want. Um, so yeah, we're in the process right now of scheduling Aura's spay. Um, I'm sure people, everybody will realize that it has been a weird year and we've been spending a lot of time traveling back and forth between uh, Los Angeles and Arizona. So uh, we want to make sure that we get the best doctors either here or LA to do um, her surgery. You don't know what I'm talking about. You're going to hate me. You're going to hate me. Um, I remember <laughs> a little anecdotally, I... I don't know if this is a Borzoi thing. When Esper got spay, you know, um, she didn't tolerate the surgery very well. And I don't mean that in a functional thing. She had a bad reaction to the um, sort of the stitches, the dissolvable stitches. She had a rash from that. There's a surgical glue that they use to um, close the, the wounds that she just, she's so sensitive. She's my sensitive little flower. And, you know, she had a bad reaction to that. Then, oh my God, they give you, you know, there's pain medications and she had a terrible reaction to that where she just had expl <laughs> explosive diarrhea all over the house. I feel terrible because I was at work. Esper was spray painting the apartment and, uh, you know, Tina was there alone and she, you know, this is the first... <laughs> This is in the first like month that we had her. It was just, it was just a nightmare. So, you know, I'm hoping 
<laughs> that things go a little easier um, with Aura. And I expect it to because she's already been so accommodating with the with the diapers and, and, and that sort of thing. I remember Aura, or Esper would not even keep the, the cone of shame on. We, we woke up in the middle of the night and she had her head down like she was pretending to be a traffic cone. <laughs> and then we just had to take it off. It was an ordeal. So I'm really hoping um, things go a little more smoothly. And I'm going to update you guys. My God, you're, you're hungry. You're a hungry little poopy. Um, so I'll update you guys as we, we schedule that and we go through that. Because it is part of the adventure. Especially if you got a dog and you're not planning on breeding them. Um, for health's sake, for safety's sake, for not having dogs you don't want. And adding to the dog population. It's always good to uh, get your pup spayed or neutered. Um, so yeah, that's it. We've been enjoying this. It's been, she's been, or Aura's been just a different dog just listening to commands her recall has been incredible she's she's really come into herself where she feels calm enough to even just you know sit on the couch with me and do a video now she's really mellowed out as a dog um i have noticed that just just by nature who she is she's a little bit more head shy than esper was so we've been working on some stuff to make sure that she's not um, you know, skittish around having her head touched. We've dealt a little bit with some, um, she's had some excess ear itching that we thought was a fungus or some sort of yeast, but you know, those are the kind of things you work through. You have a puppy. I'm also excited. A lot of people have contacted me that they've either gotten a borzoi, they're planning to get a borzoi. And, um, overarchingly, I say, if you're going to get a dog, especially a puppy, especially a borzoi puppy, be ready for how difficult those first few weeks are and uh don't hate yourself don't regret it i mean i always think of it like an investment those first few weeks are some tough bills to pay uh, but they end up paying off incredibly and this video is done now because aura has decided it is done so good to see you guys and you know i've been thinking about what content to do on this in the meantime as i come up with topics to talk about and um Throw them out to me. Throw them out to the comment. Anything you guys want to see, let me know.